Right on guys, so I just updated the latest BIOS update version E7E 40A MSI.1836. Yep, just got released June 11, 2025. And it's available for um, MSI Meg X870 Godlike uh, motherboard. So I just give you some quick tours on what it looks like in the nut UE5 BIOS. So let me go to the advanced. Or hit F7 on my keyboard. Okay, so I gotta go overclocking. Uh, check everything. Yep, X3D game mode. Yep, must be enabled. All right, so let me go advanced CPU configurations. Just making sure everything looks looking good. Yep, AVX, AVX2, AVX512 controller. Just leave it automatic. Uh, let me go to CBS. Okay, global C state controller. I just turn it on. It's, it's a, like a power state features. So make sure you know you don't waste too much voltage. Um, let me see what else. Thermal control, yep, very, very important is to turn on thermal controller. So it allows you to adjust the CPU temp limit. So I usually set it to uh, 70 degrees Celsius, which is a uh, very safe uh, CPU temp limit. So that, that way you, um, your game will not crash. And whatever you do is like, you know, uh, video renderings, photo editings, etc. So that's just why I use that feature. It's very, very helpful because I know most of you guys don't use these, you know, CPU temp uh, limit features in the BIOS. Okay, let me go back. Uh, let me check AMD overclocking. Oh, this one, see? Because CCD1 is, is off. If I don't turn this on, it doesn't fully leverage all my, you know, 16 cores. So that's why you have to turn this on. So I set to automatic. Uh, let me see. Yeah, symmetric multi-threading. Yep, just leave it automatic. Um, LN2, that's li basically liquid nitrogen. I don't do that, so I just turn it off. I don't do that stuff. But I also have to turn on uh, ProChot or VRM throttlings. Yep, very important. And let's see, precision boost overdrive. It's basically overclocking, but I just leave it automatic. I mean, you can, you know, adjust the uh, settings, but I just normally leave it automatic. I don't, I just don't want to like mess everything. Let's see, DRAM speeds. Oh, wait a minute. Expo is not turned on, so I have to turn on Expo. Yep, very important to overclock your RAM. So it can go up to 6,000 mega transfer or 6,000 megahertz per seconds. Yeah, but other than that, I still have to, you know, adjust the fan speeds, uh, you know, my boot drives and everything.